It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brava Nappy Suman and it's a bottle of their American Wheat coming in at 4.4% ABV and 32 IBUs. Pint bottle, there's the label, there's the bottle cap. Let's get it to focus. Nope, doesn't want to focus. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Look at the smoke on the opening. That is probably the best way a beer. It didn't go crazy. You can just see the foam there in the in the neck of the bottle. It didn't go crazy, and it give you a nice little bit of smoke. So beer in the glass. It's a lovely golden coloured ale. Nice level of carbonation. American wheat, it's going to be bottle conditioned, slightly hazy, so there we have the beer, you can see it just clouding over, looks like a hurricane in a glass. Let's get all of that in the, in the glass, shall we? Whoa, look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's how they kind of poured it on the television, isn't it? With that little bit of kind of foam sliding down the glass. So, yes, golden hazy coloured ale, two to three finger white head, nice stuff as a carbonation. Shall we get the aroma on this American wheat? Just named the hops on the beer as well. It's been brewed with Centennial, Citra, Simcoe, and Chinook. The malts are pale ale, Piers Nesty and Carmel. Probably caramel malt. Whoa, oh, it smells blooming lovely, that does. Citra, Simcoe, Chinook and Centennial, some of the best hops in the world. It smells great fruity, it smells very kind of passion fruity. A little bit of kiwi fruit and spice in there. Should we dive in? Cheers. Oh yeah, really good beer then. Really drinkable beer, nicely carbonated. Extremely drinkable at 4.4% ABV. Really good water quality. Picking up that, that soft water. It's, it's really prominent, I, I know it's, a 4.4% ABV beer will be about 95-96% water and when you have it that much, when it's 96% water, you can only, it's the biggest ingredient in the beer without really thinking about it. But the softness of this water comes through lovely, it's a really good, well, drink, well put together beer. Nice soft water, nice carbonation, extremely drinkable, it's hoppy. That Chinook, that Simcoe, Centennial, really good beer, really good hoppy balanced beer because it's wheat as well, you get that wheat beer to begin with, that nice level of sweetness, that nice biscuity touch. And then that nice sweet but then going over to bitter, well balanced beer, nice bitter, hoppy, mango, kiwi fruit finish. What a lovely beer. Slight bit of lemon peel, orange peel, nice bit of spice. Good stuff. That's American Wheat by a brother, Nepisuman, uh, more or less a pint bottle. There's a look at the label. I'm gonna give it a rating. Opened it, fantastic opening. Kind of a little bit of foam raised, raised up a little bit on the bottle. Uh, poured it out. Nice looking beer to to pour out. Nice golden colour, slightly amber golden colour. The the lacing on the glass is fantastic. Lovely, 
lovely lacing, nice carbonation. It looks a really good juicy beer. It looks like a really good beer. And that's, the, that's some of the main things. But when you look at a beer and it looks good, it helps, it helps to break down that door if you're new to craft beer. Then the aroma, it's lovely, grapefruity, citrusy, spicy, some pine needles in there. Again, mango, kiwi, and then the taste. Great. Good water quality, very drinkable, nicely carbonated. Nice wheat, biscuity flavours up front, and then on the back end, lovely hoppy kiwi, mango, a little bit of kind of lemon peel, orange peel. It's a really good beer. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.